Hi, I'm Jennifer Garapy, the pet therapist. I tell you what your pet would say if they could talk. Did you know that February is National Pet Dental Health Month? Try saying that 10 times fast. When it comes to the topic of toothbrushing, you know, most of us brush our teeth. 80% of people brush their teeth twice a day. Personally, I think that other 20% is kind of gross. But pets, we're much less likely to brush their teeth. And unfortunately, that means that statistically speaking, our pets do not um, do well because of that. 80% of dogs and 70% of cats show signs of gum disease by the age of three. So how does that happen? Well, it starts off with plaque, which is that kind of slimy film that you get on your teeth that goes away when you brush your teeth really well or when you go to the dentist and they clean your teeth. But if you're not getting that plaque off on a regular basis, that plaque turns into tartar and then it turns into calculus. And calculus is pretty easy to see um, when you have a larger dog and you're looking at their teeth if they haven't been brushed regularly because you pull up the, the lip and look at the gum line and you see these like brown chunky globs on the teeth and the teeth tend to be kind of yellow as well. So really kind of ugly teeth. Um, what can also happen is that it results in gingivitis. And gingivitis is when that plaque gets near the gum line, right up against it, and it causes inflammation. And then if you're still not taking care of your pet's teeth at that point, or your own teeth for that matter, what happens after gingivitis is periodontal disease. And periodontal disease is when that plaque gets under your gums. And now not only are your gums inflamed, but they're also infected. And once they get infected, then you have all these white blood cells that come into the rescue. And what some cells do, osteoclasts, they come in and they actually eat away at the bone of the tooth in order to try to get rid of that bacteria. And that means that your teeth get loose and they can fall out. And you also get this kind of really gross pus that can come out of your, your dog or your cat's teeth. And not only is this gross, um, but it is also very, it can be very painful for your pet. And what happens is that bacteria that's formed by that infection can get into your pet's bloodstream and then travel to other organs in your pet's body, which can cause serious consequences. So now not only do you have ugly teeth, but you could potentially have a very sick pet, which will mean a trip to the vet's office. And of course, your pet's not gonna be feeling so great. So if that happens, that you get to the point where you have periodontal disease, you're also going to have to have your pet's teeth cleaned by a vet and probably under anesthesia. And there's always a risk with anesthesia, um, especially with an older pet or a pet that has a compromised immune system. So in less than five minutes a day, you can brush your pet's teeth and save yourself time over the long haul, money, and frankly, bad breath, and frankly, a lot of um, pain and discomfort on the part of your pet. So if you would um, like to continue to learn more about pet health and behavior, then um, subscribe to my Facebook page, Pet Champions, and you will see regular videos like these at your leisure. Thank you so much. Enjoy your special time with your pet and brush their teeth and have a great day.